Are we recording? Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back for another video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you something pretty awesome. Multiple calls all connected at once. Does it work? Stick around to find out. Hey, for those who don't know me, I'm back again. I'm an Amarai videographer. In my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced Amarai topics, tutorials just like this one. If you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. So recently we just had a case and uh, where we had the multiple uh, examination at once and the radiologist wanted contrast agent. I was thinking, can we do anything combination without you know, moving the patient or giving the patient a new time coming back and back and forth. So we connected a lot of calls all together and uh, I just had to try it out on my, my colleague. And uh, so today we're gonna try to scan TMJ, liver, uh, wrist and also the foot ankle all together just one ISO center and then you can uh, just use ISO and directly at the scan without going inside put the new reference lines and so on and so on so I'm really looking forward to test this out and show you the results let's go to the scan and I'll show you so as you can see here we have the TMJ covered with the Ultraflex 16 channel the large one and then we have the body 18 matrix we have the spine in back there we have the hand wrist covered and we also have the foot ankle covered so uh, let's start it out with the TMJ. So as you can see here, it's not that bad images, right? And it's also pretty fast. So it's comfortable for the patient to lie there because it goes so fast. You don't have to lie there for so long. So we're using Deep Resort Boost. And then whenever I'm finished with the TMJ, I'm gonna show some images later. Uh, I'm just doing a new localizer to go further down. So let's go now to the liver now, where uh, I'm having the body matrix and uh, the spine for covering. But I noticed one thing during this test scan, I will show you pretty soon. My healthy volunteer was around 185 and a uh, centimeter is, is very long, right? So the problem I had is that the, the end of the coil in the spine stops around here. So I had some inhomogeneities and a little bit problems. If you have a shorter patient, it would be much easier, of course. So it, nevertheless, it's just a test here and to see if all the coils can be combined all together. So I just did two haste uh, in uh, coronal and uh, transversal here just to you know get some images and show you guys. So you can see the coronal here is not that bad. And then I also did a transversal haste. So after that, we did a new localizer further down to the hand wrist now, and uh, we got like that. So the hand wrist is covering the right hand right there. And as you can see here, if you have good localizers, it'll be easy for you to you know, do the positioning. And we did some few sequences for the hand wrist just to, to get some images and to show you if it, it works. And you can see the auto coil is on, so you see it automatically detects the coil. And uh, yeah, it's important to have the, 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 the coil elements on wherever organs you are at. So we're just covering the whole hand there. And of course, I'm gonna show some images later. From there, we went to uh, a new localizer now and we're trying to find the feet, but you can see I really missed here. I already got the knee and the, the leg. I need to go a little bit further down. As I mentioned, just to test. So if I'm gonna have a protocol like this, I wanna have dedicated localizers at each area, which makes it faster. So I won't lose time doing localizer over and over and over. So I'm just doing a new localizer here just to, to, to get to the, the foot ankle. So it's so easy, you know, you can do drag and drop and uh, yeah, and my localizers are it's not that long either, so it goes fast just to get an overview. And now we are covering the foot ankle, and uh, and we have the, the the coil covering the the left uh, foot foot ankle. So just gonna do a few images here. There you go. So with the deep resolve boost, it's so fast, so it's not uncomfortable for patient to lying there. It's not that long, even though you have many organs to cover. And uh, if you're gonna give contrast, let's say for a TMJ, and then you just run a new scan for the wrist or for the foot or whatever you want. So it's possibilities without taking in and out the patient, moving the coals. So it's so simple. So this is the TMJ. I just did two scans here with the Ultraflex. It's very good uh, coil and uh, easy to use. So just wrapping around the, the patient, the, the large 18 channel uh, Ultraflex. You can see the ligament and uh, the, the TMJ is sharp as just like that. 
And of course, the hand wrist is the image like this, where it's T1, and then you get a, a T2 right that, transversal, uh, scan less than uh, one minute, one minute or so. It's, it's just fast with the deep resolve boost on. And then we move further down to the foot ankle. You can see a T1 and a, a T2 weighted stir. Also apply with the deep resolve boost, so make makes things faster. Well, that's all the images I got for you. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you find this video valuable. So with the new scan and the new approaches, this really opens up the possibilities to do multiple things all at once. I find it's very cool. And uh, we're going to try out more and see if we can do this uh, more and more at our place. Before we close up, I do have a question for you. Have you done multiple examination at once just like this before? If so, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, do not forget to push the like button and hit the subscribe, hit all the notification bell so you get a notification every time I post new things. So without further ado, stay safe and uh, I'll catch up with you in my next video. Peace out.